with Rock. All right, I'm going to show you how to use a third-party cable with Rocksmith. So right here I have a search on Amazon for a guitar to USB, and this will give you a whole assortment of cables that you can use. So if we scroll down a little bit, we can see all kinds of different ones. The one I went with is this Amazon's Choice one right here. It's a 10-foot cable for about 13 bucks. I saw a listing for this one down here for about 12 bucks, but I figured for a dollar more the ratings look a little bit better for the 12 or the $13 one, so I just rolled with that. So if we open up sound settings and we look for the microphone, which is actually going to be our cable right here, it's listed as USB audio device. If I start playing around the strings of my bass, which you can't hear right now because I'm doing a voiceover, but you can see that the bass registers some kind of noise there, so if yours isn't, that might be a problem. I'm going to show you two different ways to use a third-party cable. One of them requires a mod, so if you're going to be installing custom DLC, you're probably going to have this mod installed anyway. Alright, so once we get in the main menu, we're going to want to press the control key to open the path slash input menu. And we can see I have my bass guitar selected. If we go down to input, I'm currently on direct connect, but we can switch over to microphone. So the way microphone's going to work is you're not going to have like any sound in the background of your instrument playing. It's just going to be silent, whereas direct connect will have that sound in the background. And in my experience, the microphone setting, it seems to register tuning and playing the notes a little bit better. Direct Connect seems fine for playing the notes, but I did have a little bit of trouble tuning the... So we're going to go over to the releases part of this page, where you can see Rocksmith Mods Installer version 1.2.5.1. We're going to want to click on that. And if we scroll down a little bit, we can see an executable that we can click on that'll allow us to save it. And once the installer is downloaded, just double click on it to open it. And you'll see this button, you only have to click it once, and once it's done, your mod will be installed. So we're just going to click on that. Just click OK to that. And after a little bit, it should automatically open up the mods program right here. There's all kinds of different mods you can go in here. If you don't know what you're doing, I wouldn't mess around with some of these, but some of it's also pretty straightforward. So if we go to Set and Forget Mods and go to Miscellaneous, we see the Add Direct Connection mode that I told you about. And that will allow you to emulate the real tone cable so it actually plays the sound of your instrument in the background of the game. And that's all you have to do. You click on that and it's in.